Handle the money? I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Yeah. Ah! Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. Oh. Wait! He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield. Tomorrow night! Uh, 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 oh, I swear! I swear I don't know! They only communicate with coded messages! The oh, fuck you going with your friend, too? One down, one to go. I get the next one. Hudson. Arash is in trap zone turn. What? Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position Which shortly. Which one? Acre? Yeah, keep trying to send me stuff to my other side. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a rush before things go hot.
1943. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968. Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets old... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods. Plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. But I'm convinced that we can all come together around the same table to advance. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Wood soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. It's great news that Moderna and Pfizer have each come up with vaccines that are in excess of 90% effectiveness. In getting the vaccine and a vaccination, 
though, are two different things. Everyone on our call today and our Zoom today agreed that the sooner we have access to the administration's distribution plan, the sooner this transition would be smoothly moved forward. And, you know, as we battle COVID, we also make sure that business and workers have the tools, the resources, the national guidance, and health and safety standards to operate safely. And we can do that. We can bring Democrats and Republicans together, work with business and labor to deliver those necessary resources. And for millions of Americans who've lost hours and wages or have lost their job, we all agree on our call that we can deliver immediate relief and it need be done quickly. Affordable health care for millions of people who have lost it or endangered losing it. Child care, sick leave, family time. So workers don't have to choose between work and trying family. to get this get bullshit under the control. That they say. The folks on the call. We need support of small to support small businesses and entrepreneurs that are the backbone of our communities, but are teetering on the edge. And we all agreed on the urgent need for funding for states and localities to keep frontline workers and essential workers on the job. Vital public services, running law enforcement offices, educators, first responders, like we did in the Recovery Act of 2009, saving literally millions of jobs. There's a reason why the federal government is able to run a deficit, because the states must, must balance their budgets. And they're in real trouble. Right. You're going to see hundreds of thousands of police officers, firefighters, first responders, mental health clinics. You're going to see them going out of business. Right now, Congress should come together and pass a COVID relief package like the HEROES Act that the House passed six months ago. Once we shut down the virus and deliver economic relief to workers and businesses, then we can start to build back better than before. We talked about how we have an opportunity to come out of this stronger, more resilient world. Huh? Bell. Well, like Welcome to West Bloomfield. What? Corporate leaders and the major labor leaders are singing this song. We've got a job. They've been on it for a while. Front the campaign and the Democrats and Republicans are together. Let's make sure we get this done. 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 Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 40 years. The CIA and the DOD don't have to their inside sources. Anything's substantial. So far, there are no leads in the Russian stations. MI6 has come up in Canada as well. We'll have to start somewhere. We're going back here. Vietnam. 1968. One of our closest encounters. It's time to really work. Not Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack at Denang and run across the park. She'll cross reference. We're looking for code names and good transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be Good. Bell, this is where you come in. As ex KGB, it was a risk to bring you on, but you needed to think like them. And we need that mindset again. Head to the evidence board. We trace our steps through the day. Anything that can give us a lead on the first. Secure our position as a global leader in research and development. We're going to invest $300 billion in the most critical competitive industries and technologies, creating 3 million good paying jobs. The corporate American technology firms like Microsoft own the call, they all agree. We can make sure our future is made here in America. And that's good for business. It's good for American workers. It can also modernize infrastructure. Roads, bridges, ports. 1.5 million new affordable housing units. High-speed broadband we talked about. For every American household. Remote learning, remote working, telemedicine in the 21st century. Building, digit, building a digital infrastructure to help businesses, healthcare workers, first responders, and students. A hundred billion dollars to rebuild our crumbling schools. They talked about the need, the business community talked about the need to invest in HBCUs and community colleges. Retrofitting four million new buildings, or old buildings, retrofitting and making new. Weatherizing two million homes. Building more climate resilient cities and towns. 
These investments will specifically target communities of color so we can break the cycle where in good times they lag and in bad times they get hit first and get hit first and the hardest. It's the toughest to bounce back. These are the kinds of investments that are going to strengthen our economy and our competitors, create millions of jobs, million jobs. And in doing so, we respect the dignity of work and empower the voice of workers. You've heard me say it before, my dad, when he lost a job in Scranton, the mentioned moved to Wilmington, got a good job, and said, Joey, a job about a lot more than a paycheck. It's about your dignity, respect, your place in the community. It's about being able to look your kid in the eye and say, honey, everything's going to be okay. When we build back better, we'll do so with higher wages, including a $15 minimum wage nationwide, better benefits, stronger collective bargaining rights that you can raise a family on. That's how we build back the middle class better than ever. That's how we make sure workers are treated with dignity, respect, and deserve. I can go on. I can tell I was very encouraged by the conversation. But the point is this. Breaking news. There's so much we can do. The only way we do any of this is we work together. Maybe All right, Bill. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged bothered. our radar. It was late January. The dead and left it open. It's not bothered, we were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded with his 3rd Marine Regiment more here in Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That Origin. changed at the Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation what? Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw. That would show went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. decide not to cooperate and we can decide to cooperate i believe this is in part uh, a mandate from the american people part of the mandate they gave us they want us to cooperate they want us to deliver results and the choice right, i to make is that we're going to do that, that. one show went sideways that's why i'm so pleased today we're able to bring together business and labor unions to make the choice jointly bell with us. it's time to wake up it's a great time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Hassan. The oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher, how's the arm? Still hurt like hell, but at least I can move it. You know, reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I wanted all up here. Mel, you're with Sims. Usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers to provide combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headset's on. All birds check in when ready. Badger 9 or 1, good to go. 
Badger 9 or 2, clear to go. Badger 9 or 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh man, Adler. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. The news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus saved our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Top two, put him up!
for a needle in a haystack. You hear that? It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. to be ready for prime time, ready to be used. Um, he has four concussions from falling out of trees. I'm going to say that's you. Did you have four concussions from falling out of trees? Yes, three of them. And this may let you know a little more insight into how I Breaking news. NBC News. Live ABC News. Thanksgiving. 
How are we going to do it? And we've narrowed down which 